Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's Look Who's Jay here, y'all. Back up with another video, man. And today, y'all, or tonight, might I add, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in tonight's classroom, y'all, we got your one and only man, Charleston White, and the ex-wife of Deion Sanders on the roster. And it seems like Deion Sanders' wife has some things to say to Charleston White. After Charleston White spoke ill on her son, and was bad on her son, and she wasn't feeling it. Now, we all know Charleston White like to do whatever to go viral, whatever look different from everybody else, and she wasn't feeling it, and a lot of people weren't. And we're gonna get into it, but before we do, the first thing I'm gonna ask y'all to do real quick, man, is to hit that like button, bro, and smash that notification bell so that I can't keep y'all updated on this situation, bro, and y'all can be notified anytime I drop a video in general. Now, I'm gonna give y'all time to hit that like button and smash that bell, man. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all got me? All right, bet. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got um, ex-football Hall of Famer, a uh, football Hall of Famer, football coach, Colorado State coach, Deion Sanders, ex-wife on the roster, and she has some things to say to Charleston White. And I bet y'all like, Deion Sanders, Charleston White, what are they in the same sentence for? Man, if y'all don't know, Charleston White, excuse me, Deion Sanders has been going crazy within this last month. You know what I'm saying? He really was going crazy last year. But lately, man, he's been a topic of the topic on the net. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much for his football team, Colorado, and college. And they've been trending all on social media. And he's been bringing a lot of hype to college football. Now, if y'all don't know, he coached at an HBCU last year, Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, he coached at Jackson. And he ended up transferring to Colorado to a better division. And they've been doing pretty good other than their last loss. And they ain't been trending. People been respecting and supporting them, of course, because, like, how can you not support you know a, a man that come from an HBCU and bringing his some of his players from there to a better team in a better division, they still prevailing. So a lot of people was rocking with it. Now of course, Mr. Charleston White, y'all uncle. You know what I'm saying? I said it all the time. That nigga ain't my uncle. You know, um, the one that likes to stand out. If y'all don't know Charleston White, do whatever to go viral. He want to look different from everybody out there just for the fun of it, so he know it's gonna trend. Pretty much said some things about his sons that the internet wasn't feeling. Dion Sanders. Yeah, I definitely want to put $20,000 up on any college player that'll hurt his son, that motherfucking quarterback motherfucker. Yeah, that slow motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Yeah, f college, uh, here yeah, Colorado football. I'm with them still in Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson State University, y'all go, f Dion. Yeah, Sambo Sanders is his new name. Any a football player, Dion ain't never done shit. Where we can uh, rally and, 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 and revolutionize around him. Man, a football player with a turf toe. F*** Dion. And another thing. Jackson State University winning too. Y'all ain't rooting for them coaches. And then all them little league coaches that's coaching them little league teams in your city. Now, as y'all seen, Charleston White pretty much said, if Dion Sanders said he willing, he want, he want to pay $20,000 to whoever can hurt his son and you know, pretty much saying that he's still rocking with the N-word, such as he rocking with all the HBCUs and he don't care about Deion Sanders. He ain't done nothing to make us a revolutionizer around him. Saying he's still rocking with the HBCUs and the Little League coaches, which by God, do you. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, which was a very unnecessary because Deion Sanders brought a lot of spotlight to HBCUs willing that he went to one last year and took them far. They, they didn't win the championship, but they made it far, but they lost. But that's neither here nor there. Now, like I said, Deion Sanders, Got two sons that actually play. I forgot to tell y'all, Shador and Shiloh Sanders, and their mother seen the TikTok or the clip or whatever, and she wanted feeling this, and then she responded to it. Put twenty thousand dollars up on any college player that I hurt his son, that motherfucker. So this grown ass little guy wants to put a hit out on my son, on my son, Charleston White. Let it be known, you putting a hit out on my son. As y'all see. Um, she pretty much said that, you know, he playing with the wrong one and he better get it together pretty much. Now, I ain't gonna lie, um, I'm not surprised, you know, like I told y'all, this is what Charleston White wants, bro. He's a hypocrite. He's pretty much racist, if you want to be honest with you. He's a racist for sure. But, you know, y'all know how black people see everything. They think a black person can't be a racist and they think everything he say is factual for some reason. He's brainwashed in that to thinking his racism is 
facts and what he's saying we all oh, we just we 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 sleep and we not woke enough even though the niggas be hypocrite he be bro he contradict everything he says now fun fact you know what i'm saying obviously charleston white just chatting bro there's no reason nobody should be even hating on Deion Sanders. not saying he perfect but from what he doing right now to college football there's no reason you should hate on that you gotta salute that man bro like if anything bro he's making hbcus look good because he got a player that's named travis hunter that came from that level and he's prevailing in this next level that they in now. So I feel like what Charlton White's saying, bro, you just want to be negative. You just want to be that one out the bunch that just want to stand out and look different. And that shit just corny. Now, fun fact, for all y'all that's saying, oh, that's our uncle and oh, he be speaking fast. You just don't know. This is the same guy that also said this. I hate Asians. I'm a hate for a I hate age. I like we hate gays. I don't give a fuck about the Asian hate bill. I hate Asian. I hate Johnny Dane. I don't eat Chinese food. Only time I ever wanted some Chinese pussy was at a bathhouse for them Chinese sex. I wouldn't dare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chinese bitches can't suck good. Yeah, I hate Chinese people. Shit, I don't give a fuck about China, man. I hate Chinese people. I think Chinese stores should be robbed. I think Chinese women should be robbed brutally by big, well hung black men that hate. Chinese women think Chinese babies should be raped and killed and used as alligator bait. I think Chinese babies should be killed and sacrificed and used as alligator bait. Fuck China Mac. Nick. Now I bring this clip out all the time, bro, because every time I bring that clip up, y'all say I'm hating on him, but y'all ain't got nothing to respond and defend him. This is the same guy that said that he can't stay in Asian people. He pretty much don't like Asian people and he hope that they get ate by alligators. Now, I don't know what else it's going to take for y'all to see. You know, a lot of people look at it. Oh, he just supporting his people, this and that. You can support your people without being uh, discrim discriminating against other races. Like, his whole thing is, oh, they did us like that. So why is it a problem when we do it? It's like you fighting fire with fire. You fighting evil with evil, which doesn't make sense. But y'all know how black people is, bro. We lack so much knowledge. It's actually sad, bro. But um, y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions, bro. And I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, how long is it going to take for y'all to actually wake up? Y'all love calling people sleep and all that but y'all seem like the sheep out of everybody that y'all actually follow this dude and believe in everything he says bro like how long would it take for y'all to wake wake up and figure out this nigga's a clown bro but to each his own man earth y'all that ain't me give me y'all thoughts in the piece let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section and let me know do y'all feel like um, got a point or do y'all feel like this nigga is, is just a hypocrite and he just want to do whatever to go viral do y'all feel like Deion Sanders wife should just ignore him bro because he's a goofy or what? Just give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this and let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Lucas J. Thank God for another day. Y'all be safe. Protect y'all mind. Thank for y'all self. And I love y'all. Probably love y'all more, man. And yeah, bro. I'm out.